Welcome back guys, so in this video I'll be showing you how to install the performance improving mod for Starfield on Windows platform. I'll be installing it on my Steam Deck running on Windows 11. We'll be using the PC Game Pass version of the game. On Windows, Steam Deck is running on an outdated APU driver, almost 6 months old. So you'll be getting better performance in this game using SteamOS due to the updated GPU drivers but still not a stable 30 fps it may be possible after installing this mod yes you can install this mod even on steam os i don't own the steam version of starfield otherwise i would have made a separate video for that in this video i'll be sticking with the windows platform this mod sets the settings to even lower than the lowest preset basically activates the potato mode performance is improved at the cost of visuals you can install this mod on low end pcs and steam deck so first we need to download some files from Nexus Mods website. Need to have a free Nexus Mods account in order to download files from here. I will give the link to this website in the description of the video. First download this mod, SD Essentials VRAM, SD cards, HDDs. Its size is around 4.1 GB. Click on manual to download. This page will open up. Click on slow download. It will take some time. I have already downloaded the file. After that you need to download this mod, SD Essentials INI Tweaks Stable. You can also try out the experimental version entirely up to you. Click on manual download here. Then click on slow download again. File will be downloaded. Go back. Then download this mod, SD Essentials 40 FPS UI Loading Stable. Click on manual download. Again click on slow download. After downloading these three files, just open File Explorer and go to Downloads folder. These are the three archive files that we just downloaded. First extract the contents of the biggest file, 4.1 GB in size. Double click. Just drag the Starfield directory and drop it outside of this window. There's the Starfield directory folder that we just extracted. Open it, select Data folder and Starfield.ini file. Copy them. Now we need to paste them in the directory where starfield.exe file is present. Just open Xbox Game Pass application. Select Starfield here. Click on the three dots. Click on Manage. Click on Files. Click on Browse. In my case, this is the directory where the game is installed. Just open Starfield folder. Open Content folder. There is the starfield.exe file, paste the contents here. In my case, it's showing the replace prompt as I have already done this procedure. I will replace the files again. Installation instructions have been provided on the mod page. We have just completed the first step. Moving on to the second step, put the files inside documents in your documents folder. The same folder where Starfield, press.ini file is and this is the location. In my case on Windows 11, this Starfield folder was present in the OneDrive directory. Let me just show you this. Open C drive and make sure show hidden files and folder setting is checked. Just click on view here. Show hidden items. Then open users folder. Open username folder, basically the name of your PC. Then open OneDrive folder, open documents folder, open my games folder, there Starfield folder. This is where Starfield prefs.ini file is present. Go back to the downloads directory, then open this archive file SD Essentials INI Tweaks. Double click, open the documents folder. There's the INI file. Minimize this archive file. Just open the directory where the game Starfield prefs.ini file is present. If you are doing it for the first time, Starfield custom.ini file will not be present here because this is the file that we need to extract from the archive file like this. Replace in my case. Here you go. We are done here. Just go back to SD Essentials INI Tweaks archive file. Here we have these two folders, no shadows and shadows. If you run the game with no shadows mode enabled, you will observe a performance gain of about 14% but this will lead to a visual bug. You open the readme. This is mentioned in the disclaimer. The no shadow edition will look worse but offer an additional 14% uplift. One issue with the no shadow edition is that it causes overly bright areas in certain locations. These are the locations where shadows were supposed to be present. 
but they got disabled due to the mod i will be demonstrating this issue so i'll be running the game in no shadows mode open this folder open starfield directory folder we need to extract these four files in the directory where starfield.exe file is present and do the same thing open the games install directory open content folder this is the folder where starfield.exe file is present select all of these four files drag and drop them in this directory like this replace we are done then we have the last archive file as the essentials 40 fps ui open it open starfield directory folder extract a data folder there it is you can copy or cut it open the games install directory where exe file is present just paste the data folder here replace that's it moving on to the last step we need to delete the shader cache files for starfield otherwise texture mod won't be rendered properly shader cache directory will vary depending on your gpu's brand steam deck uses an amd gpu so i need to look for this directory local app data amd dx cache open file explorer open this pc open c drive open users folder open the folder with your pc's name then you need to open this folder app data this folder is hidden so make sure here you have checked this setting go to view show hidden items check then open local folder open amd folder open dx cache folder delete the shader cache files corresponding to starfield there is an easy way to find these files just check the date modified section you can see friday is mentioned here and today is friday so all of these friday files correspond to starfield no need to worry even if you accidentally delete the shader cache files of some other game these files will get created when you run the game next time shader cache files helps in reducing stuttering so there will be a few hiccups here and there before the complete shader cache is ready doesn't take a lot of time so i'll just delete these files in case the shader cache files are not present in this directory on windows 11 there's another way to clear the cache files of pc game pass games click on windows here type system open settings click on system here scroll down click on storage click on temporary files wait for this page to load up and from here check the temporary files that you want to delete from your pc make sure directx shader cache is checked then click on remove files you just need to restart your pc we are ready to run the game the author of this mod recommends using cryo utilities mod and setting the vram to 4 gb for steam os help in improving the performance the starfield i have connected my dual sense controller to steam deck via bluetooth port in the background steam deck tools rtss and ds4 windows are running start the game this message will pop up your graphics drivers are out of date just tap on okay game will start steam deck tools performance overlay i have set the refresh rate to 60 hertz fps limit to 30 so first go to the in game display settings resolution scale set to 50 percent if your pc has a more powerful GPU, I would recommend increasing the resolution scale to at least 66%. This will help in reducing the blurriness. First thing you need to do is change the preset to anything other than low, for example, medium. Better to restart the game. After restarting the game, come back to the display settings and set the preset to low. Again, it's better to restart the game. Upscaling set to FSR2. Film game intensity set to nil, sharpening set to 70%, that's it, effects disable, vsync enable, low data combat sequence on vector, pirates are attacking us, get the weapon, equip it,
the airship is landing okay so we are hitting the GP bottleneck FPS is around 30 28 26 okay FPS dropped down to 25 for a more stable experience I'll just cap the refresh rate to 48 FPS to 24 I'm pretty sure steam OS here would be able to sustain 30 FPS check out the performance now see frame time graph is a flat line indicating stable performance 24 FPS CP load is around 90% yeah game is looking blurry Selected as well, not the ideal way to play it. Spirit is still alive, dead. So, stable 24 FPS during combat. This mod definitely helps in improving the performance. So now I load the next sequence, Planet Jameson, New Atlantis City, very demanding area. Alright sequence loaded up, you can see the non-playable characters on the screen. Getting 24 FPS, almost hitting the GP bottleneck. When I was testing this area, I observed that FPS dropped down to as low as 20. So for a stable experience, I would recommend capping the refresh rate to 40Hz and FPS to 20. Go to the next area. Yeah, 21 FPS there. And I was sprinting. This is New Atlantis Transit or the It provides free transportation throughout the city. Okay, so this area is appearing to be very bright. This is due to the mod that we are using. It has disabled the shadow in this area. We are actually standing inside this shadow area. So all we need to do is move out of this area Brightness level will be fixed, there you go the Here we are getting around 23 to 24 FPS When I move the camera quickly FPS can drop down to 22 21 Again, we are hitting the GP bottleneck. Set the refresh rate to 40. FPS to 20. There you go. Performance should be stable now. We go this way. Not the ideal way to play the game, but yeah, you can play the game now. I'll end the video, guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day. We may be in a United Colonies city.